everyone today we're gonna do this gorgeous Diwali special painting homemade with watercolors now uh, now the first step to this painting is doing the bracelet of the lady that is holding the dia so now our bracelet is complete so um, you will see what I did on the screen so now the next step is to do the hand and the dia together so I'm still using the same HP pencil like I do every time when I'm sketching now uh, I'm just gonna do a hand and first of all I'm gonna do the wrist the wrist is where the bracelet is but um, it's a little further than the wrist so okay so I'm just gonna do the hand and uh, I'm gonna do a V shape a really broad V shape and uh, now I'm gonna do one finger only one finger well not the whole one finger just do like that and uh, just do a small line and then we're gonna finish our thumb don't mind me erasing a lot of the thumb uh, yeah so here we go nice now what I want to do I want to make uh, this sort of shape for the dia and uh, do this sort of shape and do a bigger one and outline that and then simply just connect it to the thumb so it looks like they're holding it like that and, uh, yeah now I'm gonna do the Dia's light and uh, I'm gonna re-outline everything I've done till now and uh, don't pick up your uh, brush just yet I am we have to draw fingers going right there so uh, now uh, yeah that's it that's it we did fingers and now uh, I'm gonna take the cobalt blue color and uh, I am using the Dome's 24 shade palette uh, these are cake um, if you have the same cakes as mine that's awesome you can use what I'm doing so uh, what I'm doing now is that I'm gonna take the color cobalt blue the way I knew this was cobalt blue it's written on the packaging Domes always writes the colors on their packaging, so I like that. Now, what I'm doing, I did cobalt blue and deep yellow on the bracelet. And then for the Dia, the outer core, I'm going to use the same deep yellow I used for the bracelet. Now, I'm going to use medium orange and I'm going to add some to the outer core and inner core just to make it look realistic. Now... Um, for shading the dia, I'm going to use natural sienna and brown. Uh, a tip is that we have to shade with the clear water only. Now, uh, yeah, that's not right. We have to shade with only clear water. So you might have to uh, get up and get some more water. But... Uh, Thankfully and luckily, I had company with me, mom, so uh, I didn't have to get up. So uh, thank you to mom there. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do natural CNN brown and shade it on the parts of the dia. Uh, many of you also call this lanterns and I've used two brush. I've taken two brush. And uh, I'm using a tin brush now. So a tin brush is used to do a lot of details and the broad brush is used to do a lot of things that don't have many details, just have to color it. Now I'm gonna use the thin brush to shade the dia and do the nails of that lace. Now I'm gonna mix orange. I'm gonna mix orange with only a little bit of white and then I'm gonna outline our hand. And uh, yeah, that's that's pro definitely it. We have to just wash our brush. And uh, one more thing, I'm still using a thin brush here. 
Okay. So actually, why you heard that firecracker was because in the valley we really pop firecrackers, but right now it's locked down and we can't do anything. So next, uh, back to our painting. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add mix more. Uh, you know, mix more white with the orange, and then I have a skin color in my palette. So I'll fill the blank spaces, and if you don't have a skin color, you can just mix more white with the orange. Now, finally, we have to shade our hand with water. Now, I cut this part uh, and uh, just waited for a little while after I shaded it, and uh, then I did a coat with I did just uh, another coat of the hand. Um, yeah. Now, now that we're done with the recoating and shading and waiting for the paint to dry, uh, okay, I'm just gonna outline with a black pen, uh, sketch pen, you can outline with whatever you want. Uh, to outline, I'm gonna be using calligraphy pens 1.0 and 3.0. So, um, for a few parts, I'm gonna use 3.0. 3.0 has a very nice chisel tip, and uh, I can't. Re I don't really remember which company this was from because I got it a long time ago. So uh, don't really know. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna outline with the uh, outline with the 1.0 and 3.0. I'm switching sometimes, and uh, uh, yeah, that's it. So. Uh, spoiler alert, while I'm drawing, if you've noticed, this is a new table. It's even got a cup holder, uh, so the water doesn't fall from the table. That happens many times with me in watercolor, so that's also a nice thing. And uh, we can put our phone or tablets for online classes in lockdown. So, yeah, you know for video calls, and meetings, and all that good stuff. So we can put our phone there and sit and do our homework or something like that, you know. So uh, now, I, well, back to our painting. I'm doing backgrounds with shades of green from my palette. So uh, yeah, I'm just doing the background with shades of green from my palette. And uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's what I'm doing now. Now, what I'm doing is that if you want to shade uh, like I am, you can. And uh, you can also do this. Just do it from the dia. I have made another painting like that. And I will be uploading that soon on my Instagram. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'll be uploading that soon on my Instagram. So, uh... So uh, now I'm gonna take the yellow and do around the Diaz light to make it re look realistic. Now I waited for 10, 15 minutes for the background to dry and uh, you don't have to wait over one hour or you might not be able to do this. So I recommend you don't wait over one hour just for 10, 15 minutes for the paint to dry or you might not be able to do this. Now, I'm gonna do a, this around the Tia's light to make it look realistic. And now I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna outline and uh, write Happy Diwali with my calligraphy pencil. I'm using 3.0 in outlining and writing Happy Diwali. I'm also gonna write my name on the side. And lastly, take out the masking tape and finally your painting is done after a long process of painting and waiting for it to dry. So, bye! Hope you enjoyed all of you.